Raptor MVG and Happy St. Patrick's Day! Today I will be making some empanadas, which are one of my favorite things to make and eat. These are some of the tools and ingredients I'll be using to prepare this dish. We've we've got fresh ground turkey, but you could use fresh ground beef or something like that. We've also got the puff pastry sheets. We got the taco seasoning for the empanadas. Um, flour for the rolling of the dough. And we'll be using this bowl to cut the puff pastry sheets into the correct size. So about 30 minutes before we start cooking the meat, we have to set out the puff pastry sheets to defrost, which we did. Now that our dough is defrosted, we should start by, by preheating the oven to 400 degrees. It's time to cook the meat. You'll either want a parent to do this, or if you're old enough, have a parent supervise. Let's do it. Let's go. Now that the meat is cooked, we need an adult to drain off the fat so we can add the seasonings. So, to make this taco seasoning, you'll need two thirds cup water and one fourth cup this seasoning powder. And gotta remember to stir it well. So now we're gonna pour it in and bring it to a boil when let it simmer while we do our next step. Now that the seasoning is all mixed in, we can we have it at a simmer and we can continue on our next step, which starts with spraying the, the baking sheet. Now we have to roll and cut our defrosted dough, but first we have to flour the cutting board. Our, and, and our rolling pin. Alright. So now rolling this out. Be careful not to roll it too thin, and if you do, just fold it over. It's going to be okay. Now we're going to start cutting our circles and putting them on the baking sheet. Try to position them close to the edge so you can get the most out of your dough. Alright, put it over here. Now I turn the meat off and we're going to start filling the empanadas as we go. I'm going to use the quarter cup from earlier and you need a little bit of water and a fork to seal down the edges. So, scoop it up, put it in the middle, got a little water, saturate the edges a little bit, then you crimp it down. So your empanada is sealed and ready to go in the oven. Once it, once its friends have turned into empanadas too. Once you've cut as many empanadas as you can, use the extra parts, squish them together, then cut some more. And when you can't cut any more after that, just get all your dough, squish it up into a ball, and re-roll it. Get a little more flour for this. The squishing takes up flour. We usually get around nine empanadas 
and the leftover meat we use for eating and taco bowls sometimes. Now we ask a parent to help put these in the oven for me. Crafter mom, look, little help here. We start our timer around 10 minutes and add and check on them and add minutes if necessary. We're checking on these because it's reached the 10 minute mark. They still look like they need some more time, so I'm gonna give them five more minutes. So we ended up leaving them in for 20 minutes, and this is how they look. Now it is time to eat some!